Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. I'm off to Howrah train station here in Calcutta to um, get a train across the country. Alright, so here's where the fun begins. Um, this is Howrah station in Calcutta the new train station here apparently, but um, I've got no idea where I need to go. I'm getting a train today down to Bangalore. Um, so I've got no Scooby-Doo where I need to be. So I'm just gonna see if we can find anything that helps us to figure out where I gotta go. <laughs> it's all kicking off, the dogs of Calcutta. <laughs> and a bit of a scrap. Oh, look at them puppies, look. Okay, this looks fun. So I don't actually have a reservation on my ticket for the which room I'm in on the train. So I've got to come to this sort of board and figure it out. So this is gonna be fun, isn't it? Hey, you found me. There we are. Coach A1. Uh, and I've got a room to myself. There we go, that's good. Coupe E. I'm gonna take a picture of that so I don't forget it. I've got no idea where my coach is going to be on the train, whether it's going to be this end or the other end. It's a really long platform. Um, I'm imagining it's at the other end, because on the sign, my coach was like on the far left-hand side, so that I, I don't know if that bears any relation to where the coach is actually going to be or not. But um, yeah, I'm going to head down, I think, to the far end of the platform, because there's loads of people up here, and there's not many people in my coach, so I'm imagining that the quieter end of the platform might be where it is, so let's go see if we can find it. This is so confusing. All right, looks like the train's come in. Well, sod's law, I thought it was the other end of the platform. You know it would be wrong, didn't you? It's right at the far end of the platform now, behind the train carriage. So, all the way down back, down we go. All right, I think this is me. H1. This is me, so let's head inside. Thank you. I think this is me. Oh, okay. Here we are. I mean, it's a little sparse, but it's not bad. I mean, we've got what we got a mirror. We've got like light switches and stuff here, plugs and things, and yeah, that's about it. Only a short hop today of 36 hours. So in my rush to get to the station this morning to try and find my train, I've not eaten anything today, and um, trying to get across the station, never even thought to stop somewhere and get some food because the train sort of came in, and now I'm realizing I've got 36 hours. I don't know really what I'm gonna do. I've got loads of water because I've sort of brought 12 bottles of water from my room that they left me very kindly back at the hotel. So they were in my bag. Um, there is an app that you can download that's just let me go on and order some food that's gonna to come to the train at a later station. Um, there's no food, I don't think, on the train itself but you go on this app and then when you pull into this certain station they bring it to your room or something I, th I think i don't know how it works i've just gone on and ordered myself a bit of food for later on for like four o'clock this afternoon um so who knows if that's actually going to turn up we will find out when we get to whatever station it is um later in the journey but in the meantime we're just gonna sit here drink my water and um yeah hopefully in a few minutes we'll be getting on our way Before we go much further, I just want to say a big thanks to this week's video sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp provides secure online therapy that can be done from anywhere in the world. 
They've got a network of over 20,000 therapists, which means it shouldn't be difficult to find the right one. And even if you do end up wanting to change, it's really super easy to do. Now, I know from experience that some issues that you might have in life, well, the only way to deal with them is by talking them through. And oftentimes that means getting a therapist. I put my hand up, I've got one myself that I talk to on a regular basis that helps me to deal with a lot of the issues that I might be facing on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, BetterHelp is great for this because you just sign up with them from anywhere in the world. And within 48 hours, you'll be allocated your own therapist that you can sit and talk to and have a weekly session with them on a video call. You also get access to message your therapist 24 seven through the app as well, which is fantastic because you don't have to wait for your weekly session to let them know about any issues that you may be having and to get a little bit of support through the week. Now BetterHelp are offering you 10% off your first month with them. If you click the link in the description, betterhelp.com slash Noel. That's better, H-E-L-P.com slash Noel. Sign up with them, you get 10% off your first month. And just like me, you can maybe make a start on just trying to get things sorted in your head. Um, I've got a long way to go, yeah, I know. Now then, let's get back to the video. So here we are then on our way <laughs> out of Calcutta on the Toronto Express, although we're not very express at the moment. Um, I imagine we will be later on in the video, though, later on in the journey rather, but yeah, we, here we go, leaving Calcutta. This feels so exotic. I've never been on a train in this part of the world before. In fact, I've never been on a train outside of Europe and America, really, so um, it's pretty cool, I have to say, to be on board this train heading out of um, Calcutta in India um, for our journey today, which is going to take us all the way down to Bangalore. It's a flipping long way. Um, it's like most of the length of India down towards the bottom of the ice cream cone um, in Bangalore. And it's about a 30 hour train ride from here in Calcutta, um, for which I'm going to be here in this whatever, I think it's 1AC, I think it's called. So it's like as good as it gets on Indian railways, really. Um, so yeah, looking forward to this journey an awful lot. It's going to be so cool. Alright, so the man's just been round with me. Um, paper bag, I think it's um, linen and stuff for the bed. I'm going to sleep on the upstairs bed, I think, and sit on the downstairs bed. Um, you normally end up sharing rooms on this train, but I've booked, done what I usually do, because um, I'm not very sociable, um, believe it or not, and I've booked myself um, two tickets so I can get both the upper and lower deck in the same room. Um, and they thankfully allocated me in the same room as myself, so <laughs> that's good. So I'm going to be sleeping on the upstairs one, I think. Um, so yeah, I've got my linens, which I'll make my bed later on with. Um, yeah, so excited. It's the, these Indian trains, man, I've just wanted to ride on one for so, so long. I've just heard so many awesome things about them and seen so many videos on them, um, read books and stories and tales of people traveling across India on the trains and um, I'm here doing it. This is just so cool. Well, this is a good sign. A man's just been round and given me a bottle of water. Um, so um, that's nice. I can go with my other 12 bottles. So if nothing else, I'll be hydrated on this train. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a good sign that they're bringing water around at least because that gives me a hint that they may actually have something or another later on to eat. But um, yeah. This one, good, sir. This one, good. This one, good. Ah, okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you, sir. I have no idea what that's about. A man's just come in and sprayed something in my room. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, it smells like toilet cleaner, but never mind. Some sort of disinfectant or something, I imagine. But, um, <laughs> So, so weird. They've just literally brought me this mango punch drink through and as the guy was handing it to me, he had another guy taking a photo of him handing me the drink. I don't know whether <laughs> some sort of celebrity on these parts is quite funny. Um, but yeah, <laughs> very strange. Okay. Um, I've been given my, ceremoniously given my mango punch in and it's all been recorded for posterity on, um, on his phone. So. So there is food on the board. The guy's just come and asked me if I want egg curry or chicken curry. So I'm going for chicken curry for my lunch. Yes, we do get fed. I was having a brief panic there thinking I was going to be very hungry when I got to Bangalore. Um, that it looks like I won't be. <laughs> Not necessarily anyway. Departure from Calcutta, and this has turned up. I don't know what it 
is. He said soup, but I don't, I'm not entirely sure. We'll see. <laughs> Looks interesting anyway. Ah, so the rest of my soup has turned up. It wasn't hot. It must be just hot water in there because I've got a little packet now of um, tomato chapata. Basically, a cup of soup. So let's have that and see what it's like. Tomato. A cup of soup you get at home, cream of tomato, it's quite nice. Ooh, we're pulling into our first station stop as well. Just over an hour since we left um, Calcutta. And now we're in, where are we? Jackpour. So, just pulling into Karakpur Station, um, Karakpur Junction. Um, I think we're stopping here, I'm not sure. We're going very slowly through the station. Although we are going a long way through the station to say I'm right at the uh, back of the train. But um, yeah, we'll figure it out in a minute, I think. And we're still rolling through Karakpur Junction train station. And the station's so long. It feels like we're speeding up again, maybe we're not stopping then at Karakpur. The train stations here, they're just incredibly long, that's insane. We were just going through that station for a good five minutes, just crawling through. Um, <laughs> but hey, we are continuing, I think we're not stopping now. I don't even know if it does stop anywhere on the way down to um, Bangalore, I'm not sure. We'll find out. <laughs> at some point, I mean, we've got to stop at some point, presumably. A 30 hour run for the drive is going to be not much fun, is it? So, um, yeah. Anyway, let's carry on. Alright, so here's what you've been waiting for on the Indian sleeper train. It's time for the Noel Phillips Blue Review. Alright, so, um, okay. This is interesting. That's literally the train line underneath us. Um, yeah. We got a sink. We got ourselves a little sink. Um, and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Um, well, it's a good job I don't need to do a number two. <laughs> Literally the train tracks down there, that's incredible. What? Unbelievable. Anyway, um, yeah. Gotta be careful with what I eat on this train, that's all I'm gonna say. That was the Noel Phillips Lou Review. state of those toilets is part of the reason why I'm um, not taking my shoes off really and, and I'm keeping my trainers on for, <laughs> for, the, for the most part on this journey because I don't fancy walking around knowing what's all over the floor in them toilets um, and what I've potentially been standing in or what other people have been standing in um, but never mind um, it's all part of the fun isn't it of traveling on Indian railways so uh, I'm gonna deeply sanitise my hands now I think and um, yeah enjoy the scenery out of the window Right, my lunch has turned up intriguing well, shall we see what we got then in our um, little meal see, well, I'm going to open it for you so you can see so that must be the chicken curry which smells very tasty. Um, don't know what that is. I'll give it a go. I don't think I go once me. And then, there, yeah, rice. I know what rice is. 
I'm not that uncultured, eh? I know what rice is. So let's open me cutlery. Or by cutlery, I mean a spoon. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. That's not bad. That's not a bad curry. Let's try what this, whatever this thing is here. than you get on these Midlands trains anyway. Back of crisps and drink if you're lucky in first class. It's a bit better than that, isn't it? Now, as much as when I booked this train, um, I kind of realized it was an overnight trip. Didn't really think much about the scale of this journey. But put it this way, we've been traveling now for four hours out of Calcutta. I've got quite a numb backside from sitting on this seat. Um, so I'm gonna lay down in a minute, but look, Four hours, this is how far we've come. We've literally come from Calcutta, which is here, to there. And we're heading to Bangalore, which is here. We've done that little bit there. And we've got all this way to go, yeah. It's such a long journey, isn't it? Um, and the scenery, though, is quite nice out the window. Um, lots of little villages and towns, and seeing people just living their lives in these little towns, it's so cool. Um, flying through people's little towns and completely glimpse into people's sort of lives really in this part of the world, it's quite nice. It's a glimpse that you don't get to see when you're in a plane flying over at 30 something thousand feet. Much nicer this way isn't it, a little more relaxed. just come into my room and asked if he can plug his phone in and charge it and it keeps ringing oh I hope he gets it back soon I can't have that going off all night So then six hours after we left Calcutta, we are now finally actually arriving at our first station stop. Um, this is a place called Bupanaswar. Never heard of it before now, I'm afraid, but um, it's a little town or city. Sort of six hours obviously out of Calcutta on the um, way down to Bangalore. Um, and it's about the, one of the biggest stations that we've seen yet actually. So that's probably why we stop here. I'm not sure how we, how long we're here for in Bupanaswar. Um, but hopefully, not too long, we'll be on our way carrying on into the night. All right, so leaving Bupanaswar behind. Um, I think this was the station where I ordered my food to come to. Um, which clearly hasn't turned up, but um, it's not so much of an issue because it seems that we get food on the train anyway, so um, yeah, never mind. Um, so yeah, off we go again, flipping out some of these trains, look at them, how many people are crammed on there, look. It's me complaining about how sparse this room is, but look how many people are crammed on that train. Jeez, it's like a cattle carriage, isn't it? Wow. I think this is actually not too bad actually. I'm gonna stop complaining, I think. <laughs> right, so as we pull out of Bupanaswar, matey boy's come and got his phone, so that's good. So that's not ringing anymore. And we've got a snack. Sandwich. Salam murmur of sips. Right. Oh, must be like Bombay mix or something. And then something else, snacky. Something hot and snacky, which we'll try. Something that may have come out of the toilet at the end of the carriage, I don't know, we'll figure that one out. Um, rescued from the tracks or something, but we'll, we'll try that in a moment. But um, what do we try first? Let's have a look. Uh, let's try.
try what's in this paper bag first. It's like a sweet snack like does. I have that at the moment. So I'll have my sarni and then a bag of crisps and yeah, that's alright. So I'm considering we had a big lunch, it's quite nice to get a bit of a snack in the evening as well. It's quite nice, so um, yeah, let's get this eaten. No, I don't know what's in this sandwich. Doesn't look the most appetising. Here to go. Savory, for each something. That's all right. to the delicious curry I got given me at lunchtime. This is, um, it's not meeting up to those standards, unfortunately, so well, never mind. Um, it won't do me any harm. We are, yeah, sun just setting. I'm gonna sit and enjoy the sunset, I think, and they've just brought me a cup of tea that I'm gonna get in a few minutes, so yeah. You know, it's moments like these when I'm on these trips I'm just sitting here looking out over the sunset over eastern India on an incredible train that's taken us through some of the most beautiful parts of India. Um, and I'm just sitting here looking out the window thinking how fortunate I am that I get to do this. This is just incredible. Thank you so much to every single one of you who watches the videos. Honestly, I could not do this without any of you. Um, it, just the fact that I can do this and come and travel around and show you guys what it's like traveling on these trains and experiencing these beautiful, beautiful sunsets like this and beautiful scenes like we've had today. It's just incredible. As rough as it is, as tough as this train is, as rickety as it is, <laughs> this is still an incredible experience and I'm so very grateful that I get to do this. So thank you everybody. Right, I'm going to start settling down in a minute, so I've just locked my door here and curtain across because it does feel a little bit like a zoo. I've had several loads of um, kids coming up and start waving at me through the window, which is quite nice, very friendly, but I don't always want that when I'm trying to get to sleep, so <laughs> anyway, shut the blind anyway. Um, just going to enjoy the last few moments of daylight down here, I think, and then I'll go up and get in bed. Thank you. 
package on the table, please. Thank you. It's late at night now. I've never been to prison in my life. But I've seen enough prison TV shows and stuff about how it all works. <laughs> and like, how the prisoners get, you know, just hear that haunting sound of the guards coming down the aisle, banging on every door, um, waking them up. And that's kind of what it's like on this train, if I'm honest. Um, like, Every time I've been trying to nod off, I mean, it's like 11 o'clock at night now. Every time I've been trying to nod off, every now and then you can hear the tip tapping of trying to get in your door. Um, and they're getting closer and closer, and eventually they start tapping on your door, and you're like, oh god, here we go. And um, <laughs> if you don't answer, they just start hammering harder and banging. And at one point, this guy on the last turn was trying to kick the door in, trying to get in, and I'm like, what's going on? So I eventually get out of bed, crawl down to the bottom bunk just to let them in, and they just wanted to mop my floor, or empty my bin, or something, and then it's just, then it all happens again for some other reason, and just now they've just come round, for some reason they've just come round at this time of night to bring me my prison meal, um, which they've sort of popped down there, but goodness me honestly it's like it's so late at night now it's too late to eat I just want to sleep I just don't, I just don't it just, if the door's locked like just accept that the door's locked you know but <sighs> rant over well good morning from somewhere in India I'm not sure where let me check I'll have become a little map see where we are but it's sort of what time is it half seven in the morning now so we've been on this train now for oh, gosh 21 hours and we've got about nine hours left to run um, into Bangalore uh, right at this moment in time according to the old rail map we are sort of here near a town of Visak Patnam, Visak Patnam, um, on the east coast of India, coming down, coasting down the Bay of Bengal, effectively, towards Bangalore, and we're due into Bangalore at four o'clock this afternoon. Um, I did get some sleep. They eventually stopped coming through to my room quite late last night, although I think someone's coming overnight because there's like food been left for me. Um, don't know when that's from. I ended up just leaving my door unlocked all night because I was getting fed up with them, keep banging on it to get me out of bed to come and open up. Um, so I ended up just leaving the door unlocked. Um, so no idea how many times they came in overnight after that. But um, every time they were coming in as well, they were taking photos. Everybody wants pictures. And it was all right. It was quite funny at first. But now at one point last night, three of them came in wanting a selfie together, which was just not very comfortable when I'm sort of trying to get to bed and trying to get to sleep, but they don't seem to kind of respect that you might want to get to sleep, so I don't know. Never mind. I um, don't know if we're going to get, well, hopefully we get some food this morning, um, some breakfast or something fresh. Um, so I don't fancy last night's curry for tea. <laughs> unfortunately but yeah not long now nine hours left to run and to be honest I can't wait to get there I mean even in this um, even in this room it's been a chore on the train I have to say I can't imagine what it's going to be like in one of the other carriages as well um, and it's just the other thing is it's so uncomfortable as well because it you'll be all right bouncing along for a bit but every now and then it jerks really badly to the point where you think you're going to get them thrown out of bed it's really bad but I don't know just different sort of junctions and things are just crossing over I suppose um, it's making us do that but never mind right it's um, nine hours to run anyway and I can't wait to get there Thank you. 
Do you fancy getting your hands on my socks? New ones, that is. Um, you can buy those and much more exclusive Noel merch all over on my merch store at noelphillips.com. The link's on the screen now. So another meal, another photo shoot, and then I've got my cornflakes. I know what cornflakes are. <laughs> so I'm going to eat cornflakes. I don't know what else we got in here. No. Cold toast. I don't know what's in this thing. Looks like some sort of omelette. A mango fudge. Alright, for some reason, hot milk on cornflakes. I suppose. Not used, just not used to having hot milk on cornflakes though. That's a bit unusual for my taste, but it's okay. It's okay. So the train manager of the Toronto Express has just come into my room in a very strange exchange um, and he's like, oh yes, welcome aboard the Toronto Express. I've been on for over 24 hours now, but welcome aboard anyway. Um, and how am I enjoying it? Um, has the food been okay and everything? Um, and I'm like, yeah, it's been okay, you know, like doing my typical kind of, yeah, it's not too bad, not too bad. And he's like, can you send a tweet to Indian Railways and say thank you for the service. I'm like, really? Um, I mean, I don't do Twitter anyway, as you know, but um, <laughs> he wants me to write a tweet to Indian Railways to say thank you for the fantastic service on board. Um, so, I don't, know. I don't have Twitter, so I can't. There we go. <laughs> That's my answer to that. But yeah, it's a little bit random um, interaction there, but never mind. Um, We've got five hours left, five more hours, we did it, we've done like 25 hours now, we can do another five, surely we can do another five hours, um, and we're on the last stretch I think between sort of Chennai and Bangalore now, um, cruising across India and I just can't wait to get off this train, let's be honest. <laughs> right, my last meal. My last meal on this train, anyway. Hopefully, my last meal on this train. As I'm looking forward, I have to be honest, I'm loving Indian food. I really am. I've eaten nothing but curry since I've been here, which is amazing. I'm a big fan of curry, I do like my curries. Um, and I've had them all over in Delhi and um, Bengali curries and down here on the train as well. But you know what? I just I'm so looking forward to actually getting to eat like a KFC or something or some sort of bit more westernized. I know it makes me sound really uncultured. You can't come to India and then moan about the food and I'm not because the food here is absolutely delicious and it's amazing curries but like after like four days of eating nothing but curry I'm starting to <laughs> want something that's not curry. Um, so yeah we'll have to see when we get to Bangalore later what there is but um, for now it's more curry. Well, it looks like a spicy one today you know. They only give you a spoon to eat it with as well, which is interesting. That's something I've noticed. That's that soup stuff, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, they only give you a spoon to eat it, which is great for the sort of the sauce aspect of it. But what about the meat? Uh, where are we with those? But what about the meat, you know? You can't cut a chicken with a knife. And then also, you've got dal to eat afterwards. So you can't. You've then got to wipe your spoon down so you don't with your spoon. And then, well, let's see how spicy this curry is. This, Jesus Christ, this is bloody spicy. <laughs> Give me the water at the ready. 
lovely but very spicy. Ooh. It's making my eyes water. You know, I've had more people showing up asking me for tips in the last 10 minutes than I think I've had throughout the whole of my time here in India. I've had the guy who brings the food, I've had the, cat, the train attendant, I've even had the cleaner around with his mop in his hand and a load of money in his other hand wanting a tip. I'm expecting the driver to come around in a minute, to be honest, <laughs> when asking for his. <laughs> well, now I appear to have um, gained an extra cleaner in addition to the other one, who's also has a mate as well, and they've both been in and just swept my room, and now they've had a tip and all. So, um, I don't know, I think half of Indian Railways are on this train at the minute wanting tips. <laughs> So we're literally in Bangalore now, um, but we've still got an hour until we arrive at the train station and it's only sort of um, five, six miles away from where we are now, um, in, on the edge of Bangalore and it's still going to take us an hour to get into the train station, so um, yeah, wow. So we've been stopped on this sort of curve, probably about a mile and a half from the station. We've been sat here now for about 10 minutes. The train doesn't, isn't supposed to arrive for like another half an hour. And the people are just sort of getting off the train and just walking across the tracks and just going. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? You'd never get away with this back at home. All of those people with suitcases down there have gone off a little bit further up there and gone under the bridge as well. <laughs> so good job there's no other trains coming, isn't it? Wow. Nicely. Right, goodbye Doronto Express and goodbye stinky toilets. We're here in Bangalore. Bangalore. Goodness me, this is chaos around here. Um, I'm going to go and wait down here, I think. See if my Uber comes. Oh, there he is. Is that him? That might be in there, Suzuki Swift, let's go and see. Hello! As always, a massive thank you to my patrons for helping to make these videos possible. You can join them at the link on the screen now for access to my WhatsApp group, live Zoom calls with me, and much, much more. Thank you. Hi, thank you. made it to my hotel. Uh, let's open these curtains. <sighs> that was an eventful journey, wasn't it? On the old Toronto Express Indian sleeper train. Um, yeah, I don't know whether I'm going to be in a rush to do that again, although <sighs> I might have another one coming up later on in this trip for you somewhere else in India, but we'll find out. Hopefully that one might be a bit nicer than the one I was on. But anyway, we're here at the um, Taj Hotel in Bangalore for a couple of nights, a few bits and pieces to do down here. Um, in the meantime, well, I'm off to go and get myself a shower because I feel absolutely disgusting after that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought to it down in the comments below, as always, um, and let me know what you thought to um, the Duranto Express. And would you come and ride a train in India or would you just take the more sensible option and fly or something? Um, but let me know down in the comments. In the meantime, anyway, I'm off. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.